Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today we've just got a quick unboxing. I got two extra helping hands. You know, the little third hand things with the alligator clips and the magnifying glasses and the little spring thing for your soldering iron. I got two. They weren't expensive. They were about 10 bucks each. I got them on uh, AliExpress. Uh, they arrived today. This one uh, took a bit of a hammering in the mail. It's, uh, it's, all, it's all busted up. I don't know which one is which, but um, I'll link you to both of them in the, in the blog post. Um, so I'm just going to pop them open. And uh, we might even uh, um, uh, put, put them together and, and put some uh, shrink wrap on as well. I like to do that with the alligator teeth. So I'll show you what I do. Um, we'll do them one at a time. Let's start with this guy. There we go, on the bench. So, this is what we're looking at. It's uh, a <clears throat> helping, helping hand magnifier LED light with soldering stand. Main lens magnifying multiple 3.5 times. Runs on batteries. LR03AAA. So that sounds like AAA batteries to me. Useful for soldering, adjustable crocodile clips, bottom battery compartment with steel plate, complete with magnifying glass. This thing's uh, got a label on it. I'll see if I can take that off. Huh? I don't know if it'll come off cleanly. Give it a go, huh? I do like to keep my boxes if I can. I, uh, I strip them down and put them in a folder. I'm a bit of a bower bird. Might show you my folder. Oh, we tore in. But it's kind of promising, it might work. Let's do it together on the bench, huh? There we go. Well, we got past that ten. That's good. I suppose slow and steady, easy does it, is the way. Almost there. Almost there. All right, made it. This thing doesn't say anything interesting anyway. It says uh, desktop soldering, welding equipment, auxiliary tool, third hand, helping repair tool magnifier, lead light soldering stand. Interesting. I'll just uh, get myself a bit of paper and pop him over here. All right. My hands are all sticky from sticker sticker goo. Let's see if we can get this bit of plastic too, huh? Well, not plastic. Well, I suppose it is plastic. It's tape. Oh, this is even more gooey than the last lot. Oh, dear. Ay, ay, ay. That almost got him. There we go. Okay, we didn't get the whole lot. Let's see if we can get this bit as well. There we go. Well, 
Ah, we got Master Roth. So let's get him out of this hammered box. Look how badly beaten the box got. There we go. Oh, look, it came with some instructions. That's handy. Now, let's see if we can pop this guy apart. mess. Alright. Useful aid for soldering work or metal makers. I think they mean model makers. Adjustable crocodile holding clamps. Bottom battery compartment is furnished with steel plate which can enhance stability. Complete with magnifying glass. Ideal when a third hand is needed. With two LED lighting this model can work very well in the dark environment. With three pieces of AAA batteries, large capacity, this model can continuously discharge more than 10 hours expediently you be used. Warning. Using hand tools can be dangerous. Always take care and keep away from children. Wear protective eyewear, work area at all times. Select correct type and size of hand tool for work. Okay. So it says the uh, main lens is 3.5 times, the accessory lens is 12 times, then there's a 17 millimeter lens, and the main lens is 65 millimeters. Oh, I see that the, they've got two lenses built into the uh, into the lens, a big one and a little one, and it runs on AAA batteries. And that's everything to know about this, the TE-801. Oh, that's good. I might be able to figure out which is which. So here's our instructions for the TE-801. Auxiliary chip magnifier. I oh, know, auxiliary clip magnifier. Uh, useful aid. This says the same thing it says on the box. So we've got uh, LED lamps. Uh, magnifier lens, light source switch, metal hose, welder holder, up and down movement knob. Oh, that's cool. All right. And on the back, it's the same, but in Chinese. We'll keep our paperwork over there. Now, let's see what we've got in the box. fairly good. I uh, think there's a couple of impurities on that uh, lens. And what does it look like when we look underneath things? Hmm. Okay. If you bring that up right up close you can you can see there's the light switch on and off. Okay. Now this goes up and down, that's good. So we've got uh, one, two, three, they're all the same. Uh, this is the one I'm looking for, I think. Yes, no, I'm not sure. This is confusing, in fact. Ah, there, I see. Okay, so we just need to figure out how to install this. I think we can do that, that goes like that. Okay, that's pretty good. any tighter though so eh, fair enough now this guy he can go up there This guy, what do you reckon, top or bottom? I don't know. Or sideways even. 
Let's try sideways. All right. Now, get both of these in together. I might just take him off. Oh no, he's pretty happy there. Yeah, okay. Not sure which way is tight. It seems fairly tight. Tight like a tiger. All right, in we go. And in we go. You know, you need a third hand to set up a third hand. All right. I'll turn him around. Well, that seems pretty good. Put him on. Make him tight. You know, I might put my gloves on for this. I've got my old nitrile gloves. I've got a box full of these things. They're uh, they're really great. Um, they're sort of semi-disposable, but I haven't disposed of any yet. I've been wearing this pair for ages. So that's good. My whole box should last me a while. I think they're medium. I should figure that out so I know when I have to buy another box what size to get. Alright. Well, that's tight. I mean, that's tight. And then this... Straight out. There we go. Alright. Now we'll tighten that up. That's nice and tight. And straighten him up. Now, let's tighten him up. There we go. There we go. Alright. Now, what are we going to do? I think we'll do uh, wings on top and then the uh, tab at the bottom. How about that? And up we go. Well, that seemed pretty good. And uh, this guy. He seems fairly good too. I don't want to do him too tight. So. Fairly good. Fairly happy with that. And uh, let's do the other one. There we go. All right. There we go. That's pretty good. So, let's call it a third hand. It's pretty good to me. And uh, when we put the batteries in there, it should give it a bit of weight at the bottom. So we'll do that. 
Why wouldn't we do that? There's some batteries over here. Allow me to share with you my battery case. I own a whole box full of batteries. Pop them over there. Can you see that? It goes the other way around. All right. So there we go. Box full of batteries. Now this thing, I think it said, took three batteries. It does indeed. Three batteries in there. In the back of this thing. So let's fill him up. I should send Duracell the, the bill for this product placement. That's uh, that's pristine. All right. So that was my batteries. And this is full of batteries. So let's give him a go. There we go. A little bit of light, a little bit of helping hand, somewhere to stick your soldering iron in a pinch. Wish I could get that tighter. Anyway, that's fairly good. All right. Well, we've got a bit of light. If we need to, what can we do? I suppose we can uh, bring this in if we have to. It's all right. That's good. I'm pretty happy with that. That's the first one uh, installed. Let's put some shrink wrap on it. So let's fire up the heat gun. Set it 380, that'll do. So let's try this uh, four mil shrink wrap. And how many centimeters do you think we want? Let's call it, uh, I don't know, maybe two centimeters. I'll let go all the way over. Not quite, maybe, let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. Let's put him in there. All right. Shall we use cutters? I've got some cutters, these will do. So, there we go. All right, well, we're going to need four pieces. So let's cut five, just in case we make a mistake. So just for the record, this is the four mil shrink wrap. and four pieces and five pieces all right so let's set him up It's fairly good to me. Fairly good. And uh, 
didn't cut through the the jaws. That's good. Fairly good to me. Let's let it cool down before we close the jaws. Let that go away. Yeah, I don't think that got too hot. Okay. Now. Oh, dear me. just starting to cool down. It's pretty good to me. Oh wow, that got hot. That's burning hot. I wonder what the lowest setting would do the heat shrink. I don't know. So what do we? You know, um, snap the ends off. I suppose we should. Will we call it uh, circumcision? I think we could. All right. Take that off. There. pretty good to me. Now we'll do the same thing over here, another circumcision. So snip. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, well that's one done. And this one was the uh, TE801. So I've got a place to keep my soldering iron. So it's too, it's too big for my iron. Well, not really, sort of. Anyway, I won't. I won't be using it. Might even take it off, frankly. I I, I always keep my iron up the back there. Still, maybe I'll stick something else in it. You never know. So, uh, this looks pretty good to me. Pretty good indeed. Happy with that. And uh, yeah, that's quite good. So let's do the next one, huh? Just uh, bring my coffee over. Here we go. Helping hand magnifier. Lead light with soldering stamp. So it's again 65mm and 17mm. It seems to have the same specs. It might actually be the same out of the same factory. Who knows? It's not the same box. Same dimensions though. So let's pop this guy open and see what we got. Yeah, it's the same. I have to say I'm very happy to have the same. Uh, symmetry works for me. I'm, I'm pro symmetry. So the instructions are. Similar, but they cut off the uh, the branding. Isn't that funny? So these guys must just resell the other guy's product. I don't know. See the T eighty O one has just been taken off. Fascinating. Otherwise, they're a dead they're a dead uh, duplicate. <laughs> Classic. So I've got two. TE801s. That's good. I'm uh, experienced with them now too. I know how to set one of these up. I've done it before. Five minutes ago. Let's take him out. A couple of bags. These bags aren't the same. So maybe they got packaged differently. Who knows? It's a bit of a mystery. Similar bit of stuff around there top. Alright. Well, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy to have two of the same. 
I forget what the price difference was, but if you're looking to buy one and you want to save a buck, you can just get the cheapest one because they're going to be the same. Now I might put the batteries in first this time. That's got three more batteries. Do the same thing we did before. I, uh, I'm not planning really to use the LED lights that this thing comes with, but they might be handy in a tight spot. But the main reason I install the batteries is to give the base a bit of extra weight, because uh, that helps with balance, doesn't it? Or one could imagine that it helps with balance. But actually, that light's actually quite bright. Quite bright. Like you, right? You're quite bright. I'm quite bright. I think we're all quite bright around here. All right. Well, that that's oh, that's good. This already came sort of pre-assembled in a sense, so that's uh, that's handy. All right. And I'll take this guy. Should we use our other third hand to help us build our third hand? Maybe we should. Let's have a go without it, huh? Perhaps we're being foolish. Oh, uh, I don't know how much the hand that third hand really is at the moment. in. Once you get him on, he's kind of secure. All right, well, tighten that up nice and tight, and then tighten this up nice and tight, tighten this up nice and tight, and you want to be in the center there. same way. So these have been set up with right. now I had them facing the top like that. some computer beep beeping at me there in the background. I suppose everyone has computers beeping, beeping at them these days. Doesn't seem to be any avoiding it. Alright, that seems to be pretty good. And this guy, turn him around like that. Make sure he's on pretty tight. He's on pretty tight too. Alright. Well, Let's confirm the lights are still good. There we go. Yeah, that's quite good. All right. And 
Although we're not planning to use him, we might as well stick him on, huh? Oh, interesting. That actually. Um... Ah, okay. Well, let's see if we can do better. Let's see if we can tighten this up. Is that a screw? I'm not sure. It seems to be a bit loose. Tighten it up or oh there we go. Alright. Can you see that? Just uh, tightening up this back bit. It seems to be tightening. So let's cut ourselves some more shrink wrap and uh, and get that installed. Now I didn't have any problems last time I did this, so I think I'll just uh, cut myself three bits because we've got one left over, and there won't be any scraps, and we don't need any scraps. really matter how long I make these because when we do the circumcision it all comes out in the wash. So let's uh do things. Oh boy. Pretty good to me. So I can cool down a bit. Just cool down a bit. That looks alright to me. Alright. And once again. I don't want the jaws to clench on them while they're really hot because I don't want the jaws to push through. But uh, they don't seem to have, that's good. And we'll do our circumcision. And again. What do we reckon? 
So they turned out to be two of the same. They're the TE801. They're identical. And we've got two of them. So I'm just going to keep those up the back of my uh, up the back of my bench. And if I need a third hand, I know where to look. Yeah. I don't know. I might get rid of those bits on the back. I'm not real sure. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. Let me just confirm. The lighting situation's pretty good. Yeah, they're great. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. It only cost me 20 bucks. So uh, for a few dollars, pretty happy to have these guys on the uh, bench. So that concludes today's uh, unboxing. The uh, TE801 Helping Hands. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.